Hi everybody, welcome to Daisy on the Xbox One and this video will blow your mind if you stream straight from your Xbox to Twitch but you really wish you could have um, all those overlays and uh, follower and subscriber notifications um, that people who are like on PC or people who have a PC that they can plug their console into um, so that they can um, be kind of a man in the middle um, and add those overlays then push it to Twitch um, you could kind of do that with Mixer, couldn't you? They, they, they were very good. Well, I'm here to tell you, you can. Um, Lightstream um, have now integrated with the Twitch app on Xbox. You probably saw an update a few days ago. And this works for PlayStation 4. I've done a separate video as well. And I'll put that in the, uh, in the description down below. But all of a sudden... We now have the ability, without a computer in the middle, to be able to put, like, as you can see, a custom overlay. Now, you'll have to forgive me. <laughs> this, the, the, the over, I just came up with like what I thought would be like a daisy kind of semi-looking overlay um, last night. You know, so basically, it's a, it's a retro TV. But look, look at this stuff we can, this stuff we can do. So when, when a follower comes along, you know, you can, you can have something. It's no following. <laughs> something like that happen and it can play a sound as well it might even play a sound you might get to hear it in a second um, uh, let's do a, a subscriber event as well let's do one of the oh, uh, born too late to explore the earth born too early to explore the universe born i need to play to around with the positioning as you can see it kind of gives you an idea of, of, of what you can do and um, do not fear where, where you can put stuff. So, what you need to do is if you want to sort of take advantage of this, all you need to do is you go to, uh, do, you just do a, do a search for um, Lightstream um, or you go to um, golightstream.com and then scroll down to the uh, Xbox bit and then you'll be able to connect your Twitch with Lightstream. Um, and then when you go into the Twitch app, there's now in the top right-hand corner in the broadcast section, there's a bit that says uh, uh, destination, and you change that to Lightstream. Now, within Lightstream itself, that's kind of the, the, the web app that um, and their servers, that the, the, the man in the middle. And you can, you can create... Th they've got some basic overlays... Um, and templates that you can use. However, the really clever bit, the really clever bit is that Lightstream integrates with Stream Elements. And if you click on the the PUBG, the um, PlayStation link in the description down below where I did the PlayStation video, you'll see a much more professional looking um, template that I use. Because Stream Elements, which for some reason is free, I don't know how they do it, but Stream Elements is full of uh, pre-made um, overlays and notifications that you can use um, and it also has a really good editor um, for creating overlays and notifications which you can then suck into um, a light stream um, and you can have different uh, projects for different games so you could have you can have a PUBG um, PUBG set of overlays um, because look, look, this is what I've got for Daisy. I've got obviously you've seen, you've seen the starting one, stream starting soon. Then we have the live one, um, which you know is is this one which you've seen, and then you know you know when you go out for you're right. I need to go for a wee, so we've got, you know, we've got back back in a bit, <laughs> which is which is pretty cool, um, and we've got obviously an outro which you would put near the end. Thanks for watching. Please follow and subscribe. But I should probably have a few more, um, you know, you know, li uh, description about where people should go. And also, you know, quite a lot when I'm streaming Daisy, I'll say, right, I just need to look at the map. So that there you've got, you know, Chernerus on the left and, and Livonia on the right. And then we go back to, go back to the live one. Um, and this is absolutely fantastic. This is a game changer. What's other, what else is really cool is you don't need to have your PC on at all. Once you've once you've set up um, your overlays with uh, on, on your laptop or your computer, um, you can set one of them to be uh, the automatic one that turns itself on as soon as your Xbox starts broadcasting. 
Um, and then, if you go to um, go um, golightstream.com on your mobile phone uh, and you log in, you can then control which overlays you're using on your phone. So you, t you tap like one, two, three, and four, and it'll flick between the different overlays, which is which is absolutely absolutely amazing. And to be honest, it's incredibly easy to test stuff as well because, like, I mean, at the moment, I, okay, I've got Lightstream open in a browser on my on my computer, on my laptop. So this enables me, you know, so I'm flicking between, you know, the different um, different overlays. But also, I've got Stream Elements opened up as well, and that allows me to preview things, so I can test to see what they look like. Um, so we've got um, so let me it's no some boring. of these. I don't, th I don't think I've bothered doing. Let's see if the raid one works. I've done the raid one. That's the following one. So you can literally click it and you can Born test it. You can see what it looks like sort of live when, like, when you're testing the universe. it that perfect Now this, this doesn't dunk come memes. for free. Okay. There, there is a cost to this. So, so let me get you the costs. Because that's important. Um, let's have a look. Where do I go? Account settings. Change plan. Okay. So you'd always choose the, the gamer um, options. And so, if you want to stream at a maximum of 1080p, 30 frames a second, which is probably the setting, you know, probably the one you'd want to go with, isn't it? Um, I think that the Xbox streams at 1080p, 30 frames a second. Uh, 30 frames a second. I don't think it does 60, um, even when you're doing Call of Duty or games like that. It costs you $16 a month, which well, that's £12 a month, which is only the price of a few coffees. Now, they do do a 720p, 60 frames a second a month option at 12 uh uh, dollars, uh, about ten, I guess that, and they do a 720p at 30 frames a second for eight dollars a month, which I guess is probably about probably about a fiver. Um, but as long as you match, and this is the trick, actually, you've got to match your templates to to the output um, that that you're putting in, uh, so everything matches in terms of size. But that's pretty reasonable if you want to take streaming, you know, seriously. You know, let's say you spend a couple of hours streaming. Um, every night or something you know and you want to have the overlays just like the uh, the big streamers do um, and you want to have the, the notifications just like the streamers do and again don't be fooled by kind of you know these kind of amateur ones that I that I've added to, to it here you know if you, if you spend your time and you go to stream elements which is free and you go through their um, overlay templates you can get very professional looking uh, twitch overlays very very quickly so I, I'm blown away, to be honest. I am absolutely blown away. I knew, because I never really streamed to Mixer, because I, because I stream mainly from my PlayStation, and you can only you can never stream to Mixer from PlayStation, obviously, because it was a it was a Microsoft product. Um, but I knew that people on Mixer who who streamed from Xbox to Mixer could do things like simple overlays and things like that. But actually diving into it myself now that it's kind of for PlayStation and Xbox, and specifically. Looking at the um, integration with Stream Elements, that's the key for me as well. The fact that you've got Lightstream, which is kind of the app that's doing all the doing all the hard work, but then you've got the uh, the, the loveliness, the graphical um, beauty of the the overlays that are available for free in Stream Elements really does make a massive difference. So anyway, there we go. It's a game changer for me. Um, what I'll be doing is I'll, I'll put. Um, I'll put all the relevant links in, in the description down below. So please go and have a look. There's a free seven-day trial, I understand, so you can you can give it a go. I will, of course, you know, if people want, well, I'm probably going to do it anyway, I do, do plenty of tutorials on how to get this stuff working because um, it's not completely intuitive and it's good and it's fairly easy to, um, to kind of get a bit lost. My big first tip, actually, the one tip I'll give on the, this video is when you go into the Twitch app, uh, when you've got it all start, set up and you're ready to go, and you go in, go into the Twitch app, um, and you say broadcast now, wait in the Twitch app until it comes up with a notification at the bottom saying you're broadcasting before you go back to the game. Because if you go back to the game too early, often the broadcast fails. So wait in the Twitch app, um, and then when it says you're, you're, you're streaming, then go back to the game you're on, and then you'll get the little notification in the top of the, top of the screen uh, saying you're streaming then. And then everything seems to work fairly smoothly from that point on. So there we go. Hopefully that's useful. Um, 
very, very excited. I think this is amazing for console players. Puts us on a level playing field with PC players, PC streamers. I think there's going to be a lot of PC streamers who look at this and the capabilities of this and try and look past my, my crap graphics here and be going, wait a minute, I've, I've got this £1,500 PC so that I can play, I don't know, DayZ and stream at the same time. But, but you, you're saying that on console you don't you don't even need that. You can just do it. You can just just do it through through a web app. Obviously, you've got to pay a monthly fee, but you know, I think I, I think that's absolutely amazing. So there we go. That's enough from me. Put your questions and comments down below. Thank you very much, and obviously, I'll uh, I'll see you again soon.